question number 176 in contrast to flat worms the round worms show flat worms which belongs to the phylum platyhelminthes such as tenia and round worms belongs to the phylum eschelminthes such as hookworm or filaria worm etc the very first option given is in contrast to flat worms the round worms show radial symmetry and this is an incorrect option because both these organisms exhibit bilateral symmetry both flat worm as well as round worm exhibit bilateral symmetry the next option is three germ layers and this is an incorrect option because both these organisms flat worms as well as round worms are triploblastic Round worms are also triploblastic. Next option is organ level of organization, and this is an incorrect option because flat worms exhibit organ level of organization, but SK helminthes exhibit organ system level of organization. The last option given is complete digestive system. And this is a correct answer to our question because flat worms show incomplete digestive system whereas round worms show complete digestive system. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 177. Which one of the following is the correct description about the animal concerned? And the very first option is cockroach and the match given is 10 pairs of spiracles present on ventral side of body. And as it is an incorrect match, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because cockroach which belongs to the phylum Arthropoda respires through tracheal system. And they have 10 pairs of spiracles but they are present on lateral side of body. And not on ventral side of body. The next match given is earthworm and the match is internal fertilization and indirect development and as it's an incorrect match so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Earthworm belongs to the phylum Annelida and it exhibits direct development and not indirect development and fertilization occurs inside cuckoo. So this is an incorrect option. The next option given is frog and the match is ureters functions as urinogenital duct in male and as it is a correct match so this is a correct answer to our question in case of male frog ureters carry both sperms and urine and hence known as urinogenital duct the last option given is crow and the match given is heterodont dentition and as it is an incorrect match so this cannot be a correct answer to our question heterodont dentition is present in mammals crow which is a bird and belongs to the class aves lack heterodont dentition so the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 178. Structures called ometidia are associated with which organ system of periplaneta which is commonly known as cockroach belongs to the phylum arthropoda. And these structures called ometidia, these are the structures which helps in image formation. Cockroach has paired compound eyes. Cockroach possesses paired compound eyes and each eye consists of near about 2000 visual units or elements known as ometidia. So these are the structures which are associated with which system? nervous system option number three is the correct answer to our question whereas the other three options respiratory system reproductive system and excretory system are incorrect options cockroach respires through tracheal system so this is an incorrect option ometidia is not a part of reproductive system in cockroach so this is an incorrect option an excretory system of cockroach includes malpigian tubules or fat bodies or nephrocytes so last option is also an incorrect option and the correct answer to this question is option number three let's discuss our next question question number 179 a true fish among the following is not so we need to find out an odd one with respect to 
a true fish. The very first option given is dogfish and as it is a true fish, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Dogfish is a common name for scoliodon, scoliodon which is a cartilaginous fish. Catfish is an incorrect option because catfish is a bony fish and it belongs to the super class Pisces. Catfish also belongs to the super class Pisces. The next option given is hagfish and it is a correct answer to our question. Hagfish which is a common name for mixing belongs to the class Cyclostomata and these animals are ectoparasites on fishes. So this is a correct answer to our question and the last option is sawfish. Sawfish is a common name for Pristis, which is a cartilaginous fish and belongs to the superclass Pisces. And all these fishes, dogfish, catfish and sawfish are the incorrect options because they belong to the superclass Pisces and are true fishes. On the other hand, hagfish is not a true fish. So the correct answer is option number 3. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 180. Read the following statements and select the correct option. And the very first statement is, Mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood occurs in heart of fish and amphibians. And as it is an incorrect statement, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because no mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood occurs in heart of fish. In fishes, heart is too chambered and it is always filled with deoxygenated blood. The next statement is, Paired pharyngeal gill slits present on dorsal side of body are characteristic feature of chordates. And as it is an incorrect statement, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because these paired pharyngeal gill slits are present on the lateral side of body and are characteristic feature of chordates. The next statement is, gills function as a respiratory as well as excretory structure of mollusk. And as it is a correct statement, so this is a correct answer to our question. Feathery gills like structures they perform the function of both excretion as well as respiration in molas. The last statement given is male and female leeches can be distinguished on the basis of size. And as it is an incorrect statement, so this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Because leech, which belongs to the phylum Annelida, are hermaphrodite. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 3. So, with this question, I would like to end up the discussion of this AI ATS paper. I hope all your doubts and queries have been solved regarding this paper. Thank you very much for watching and all the best.